these two links here are just some practice kind of matching graphs. It's an app that lets you match graphs together. So I want you to pause this video and I want you to do these two uh, uh, matching graph activities first. Okay, so just get the sense of how can I, how can I visually recognize the different pieces that allow me to match a function with its derivative or even vice versa. Okay, so please pause this video and then do these do these uh, do this practice and then come back to the video. So these ones here. So again, I'm going to look at the three main ideas here that we're that we've been looking at. We're looking for where a graph has zero slope. Okay, we're looking for where the graphs are positive and negative, and where we can, we want to see if we can use a polynomial power relationship. So we have here that our x value or slope values are zero. So I'm looking at example one. So that's the first thing I'm going to look for. I'm going to look for horizontal tangent lines. So one right there, one right there, and one right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is relate those to zero coordinates on my f prime graph. Okay, so there's one here, one here, and we'll just say one right about there. So those zero slope coordinates relate to zero points on the derivative. Where I want to see next is I'm going to look for negative slopes. So here is negative slopes going to zero. Okay, it kind of starts negative and flattens out. So it's kind of kind of go up and hit that zero there. I have negative slopes between here and here. Okay, so it's getting kind of going negative, a little bit more negative, and then it come back, comes back to zero. So between here and here, it's going to kind of go like this. Okay, it doesn't get very negative slope but it does have negative slope. So this one here, notice I've made it a little bit steeper. Okay, that at this point, I'm not too concerned whether you're, you're identifying the steepness or not, just more whether it's positive or negative. So the positive slope parts are here. Okay, so I have positive slope going on and it's going from flat, kind of steep to back flat. So it's going from like this and back to there. And there is actually a point where it's the steepest. That means we should have the highest slope. So if that's the steepest, I should maybe move that over a bit. If that's the steepest. Okay, that steepest point should really actually relate to the highest point on the slope graph. Because remember, this is y prime. And again, this is going to be positive slope. It's going to be going like that. And so our graph is going to kind of look like that. So that's not a very nice looking graph, but basically the graph's going to go up like that and go through the zeros to those points. So for the next one here, same thing. I want to identify those three pieces. Okay, I want to find zero slopes where the tangents are zero. I'm going to relate that to a zero coordinate on the x-axis. So that's about 3.2.5, so somewhere around there. Okay, where the slopes are positive and negative. So I'm going to start with a negative slope. This is negative, so it starts off kind of sleep and flattens out. So it's going to start off kind of very negative and go towards zero like that. Okay, I got negative slopes in here, kind of starts off near zero, kind of flat and then more steep. It's going to start up at zero and just get more steep. And in between, we have slopes that are positive. Okay, so it's going to look like that. So it's going to start off at zero get really steep, go back down to zero. So it's going to go up and back down like that. Okay, now this is, I should kind of smooth this out a little bit, but basically this is like a cubic function going to a quadratic function. And where it's the steepest, you probably should relate to the maximum slope. So I'm just going to straighten this out a little bit to make it a little bit more smooth because we like our grass smooth. There it is. Okay, so those are how we can look for, uh, how we can map a, a function onto a derivative function. Okay, so there's some apps that do this. I think I've showed you some apps as well that do this. So that do a much better job than I did here. But essentially, we're, these are things that we're looking for if we're going to do this by hand. So again, some points to observe. Okay, the three main points, horizontal tangents. Okay, so things... I'm just going to do this in red here. 
or horizontal tangents, okay, where we have horizontal tangents, there, there, and there, we relate to zero points on our derivative graph. Okay, where we have positive slope and negative slope, we want to relate to that. So positive slope is in the positive y-axis, negative slope is underneath the x-axis here, positive slope again, we're above the y-axis. Notice that as we increase, you know, our slopes are increasing here as it's getting steeper. Okay, the last thing is the power rule relationship. So if it looks like a one, two, three, fourth degree po polynomial, which this is not a polynomial, we should have a one, two, third degree looking uh, derivative. Okay, so that's an additional part that now we're adding on that we can look at. Okay, so the, these are things that we're looking for. Uh, this one here, this one, I want you to practice drawing these derivative functions by just dragging the point. And we can see, we can change the function up and we can see how the derivative function changes. And we can plot the derivative function. And again, the pieces that we're looking for are where the slopes are zero, relating to zero coordinates on the f prime graph. Okay, where the slopes are positive, it's going up in the positive, positive x above the x-axis and below the x-axis for negative slope. And the additional piece I want you to start thinking and looking for is, is the slope increasing or decreasing? That means that whether this is going faster up or more down. Okay, it can still be positive, but the slope is getting less positive, which means that it would be going down like that. Okay, so that's kind of, if you're feeling fairly comfortable with, confident with this, that's the next phase and next kind of layer we want to get to.